movie time, folks. I have picked here my top five Halloween movies. Of course, you could watch any horror movie on Halloween. That would be great. But um, here is some of my favorites. They're not all horror movies. But I think they are um, appropriate for Halloween. The first one is Trick or Treat. This, I think, um, this is a horror movie and it's very appropriate for Halloween. Um, it's not very surprising. It's, I guess, it's kind of very traditional, uh, traditional story, but um, yeah, I thought it would be perfect for Halloween. If you haven't seen this, and you're having a Halloween party and you want to watch a movie, this is. A good one. Then there is Zombieland. This is a zombie movie, but not like the typical one. This is kind of funny, though there is scary looking zombies uh, and some action, but still it's funny. The funny point of view in, in zombies. But yeah, it could work on Halloween. Then there is Nightmare Before Christmas. Of course, Tim Burton's movies are excellent for Halloween. And this one is perfect for Halloween. If you like animated movies, animation, uh, Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas would be the best one, I would say. Then there is some more Tim Burton, <laughs> Sleepy Hollow, great story, great actors, and yeah, it's, I think it's, again, perfect for Halloween, it's a classic story, and it's one of my favorites, I mean, I don't, I said that I don't like horror movies, but so Sleepy Hollow isn't too scary and it's even funny at moments. But yeah, they are great actors. I will show some clips and uh, talk about more of them all. But here's just some preview of my top five. And then there is Tragula. Tragula. Uh, this is a classic, I would say. Uh, and perfect to Halloween. Yeah, a romantic story. And if you haven't seen this Dragula, this is um, Bram Stoke Stokerin Strokers. Well, it's a good one, but I think this is like more close to the Bram Stoker's version, like the book version. And yeah, it's a good vampire movie. I could recommend this for you for Halloween. This movie has a lot of short stories. Uh, different kind of characters. There's like these uh, very sexy girls <laughs> having a Halloween party with a twist. And then there's this uh, maniac over here. And well, this little fella, um, he creeps me out. And I will think he will creep you out. It's very creepy. But that's Halloween for you. Um, and these kids, oh, so creepy. And the sexy girls, but I don't think this is like 
great, great, like, in the scale of movies, this would be like way below my usual um, like ratings. But on Halloween, everything goes. So here is the sexy girls drying out Halloween clothes. Yeah, I don't know why we join out here when there are perfectly good guys in the city. Fresh meat is what we do every Halloween, Lori. Whatever happened to the trick or treat? Puberty. Last year we were in Tampa and we went to sexy nurses. No, Janet, Tampa was two years ago. I remember because you keep the do any guy in the back just pick up. I ate some bad Mexican. And it was a jeep. Last year it was San Diego. We dressed as Lucky sailors. boy. Lucky sailors. Yeah. And Maria Sailor was a girl. So what? She had a nice ass. It all tastes the same. Yeah. Ladies, there are children out here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all of you come out on the count of three. One, two, three. Aww, they're going okay. as cute princesses. <laughs> Our sexy princess company. Glory, come on out. No. Then there's the story with the kids. Creepy stuff. Perfect for Halloween. Like I said. This is really fun and at the same time a bit scary movie. Perfect for Halloween. There's some romance, some chainsaws, some amusement parks. Perfect, you know. And great actors. Highly can't rec recommend this. It's because of my list of rules. Rule number one for surviving zombie land. Zombieland. When the virus struck, for obvious reasons, the first ones to go were the fatties. You are zombies, so gross. But as the infection spread, and I've always been kind of a loner. I avoided other people like they were zombies even before they were zombies. This is the zombies. hero. Kind of Not the most likely so to be the hero, Austin, Texas, to <laughs> but he is. Where I'm hoping my parents are still alive. Even though we were never really close, it'd just be nice to see a familiar face. Or any face that doesn't have blood dripping from its lips and flesh between its teeth. Um, there's the rough guy. I love this dude. He's very funny. They are going to be the best friends. <laughs> now there is four of them. <laughs> perfume? What? Is that perfume? Uh, it's cool. I'm thinking Lancome Magnifique. I want you to cheat up. Having fun in Zombieland. Doesn't that feel good? Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Oh, I wouldn't have done that. It's a cool looking shop. 
but I guess in Zombieland you have to just throw things and punch things and survive. The best Halloween animation ever is by far Nightmare Before Christmas. It's perfect for Halloween. And if you haven't seen this, please watch it. If you don't like animation, don't watch it. But if you like animation, this will be a treat. And perfect Halloween. Sleepy Hollow. The Headless Huntsman. Huntsman. Headless Huntsman. Do you know of the horseman, Mom? The Hessian? Scary woman. She is a witch. What might he hear that he must keep away from? <laughs> and I love Johnny Depp. He's a great actor. I smell the blood on him. Classic. The last movie is the Dracula. Looks a bit funny first with his hair and welcome to my home. All of that. He is the head vampire. Buyers. This is 
most classic vampire movie that you ever get. I mean, this is not the oldest one, but still. The um, Dracula movie is maybe the most classic one of the um, of the five. I uh, I myself love animation, so um, Nightmare Before Christmas is a classic for me. And I have watched it uh, many times. And it's just getting better and better. I mean, there's lots of thing, things that kids wouldn't understand in the same way that adults would, you know? And it's so well made. And Zombieland is funny and scary at the same time. And Sleepy Hollow is romantic and, and scary, I would say, a little bit. I mean, if you are used to this kind of blood everywhere, uh, horror movies, like the top scary ones, Sleepy Hollow, I would say would be like a kid's movie further those people but for me it's enough um, what else what else um, yeah I I think all of them are good good movies uh, the trick or treat isn't like in my top top list of all movies in time but it's it's good for Halloween so there was my top five Halloween movies hope you liked it hope you will watch uh, one of them or all of them uh, happy Halloween everyone <laughs>